What's up, guys? I'm back. Sorry, I've been away for a very, very long time, obviously. Um, to be honest, I had footage recorded for you guys back in July when I got hired. And it was just like footage of like uh, the hospital and all these like, cool quotes they had on the walls and stuff. And I still have it, so I'm, I need to put that video together for you guys. This is show you like my hospital, you guys get to see around it. Um, it's called St. Joe's Hospital. Um, again, here in Arizona and Phoenix, if you guys wanna look it up or whatever. Um, I again work for the Neuroscience Tower, so I work for Barrow, and they're like the leading organization when it comes to neurology. And I wanted to work there. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a clinical there and um, I had a passion for cardiac and then I found neurology. I thought it was amazing. So that's where I wanted to work and that's where I am working. So how has work been? I'm sure you're wondering. Work has been, it's been fun. Um, it's been stressful at the same time, of course, um, as you would expect. Uh, I had 12 weeks of orientation um, which is pretty decent. Again, I started in ICU. Um, most people get like eight weeks on like another floor of ICU, we get 12. The first, I did six weeks on day shift and then six weeks on night shift only because I'm working night shift. So they wanted to incorporate me meeting new staff and getting familiar with some other things on day shift compared to night shift, which I thought was pretty nice. Um, night shift, the first week was going, the first week was actually really hard to transition you know it's not a normal sleeping pattern this is also my first night shift job um so the first week was rough and then everything after that ever since then i've been totally okay just because i'm kind of weird with sleep i don't really need much to like thrive or you know go about my day so that's kind of a benefit but um it's been going pretty well there's some times where you know like um when i get new admits admits on our unit take a lot of work and there's a lot of uh, paperwork like on the computers and charting that needs to be done and to trying to remember all of that to do all of that stuff do their assessments every single hour um, medications that to me is the worst part of um, admins and that's my least favorite about my position so far um, the more I do the better it will go and I've had three so far and um, my very first admin by myself was a patient who had dementia. Um, very, very confused. Kept on trying to get out of bed. We had a restrainer. She, that took forever. I'm not exaggerating, guys. I was in her room dealing with her from like 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Lots of work. Um, I gave her Haldol, and Haldol, I guess, you know, contradiction between that and people with dementia because it could put them completely over the other side. Um, and luckily for me, I gave it to her and she just mellowed out the rest of my night. Like she was totally chill, no longer tried to get out of bed and everything was just great. So that admin was kind of stressful for me. The rest has been decent. Um, and just the job itself is fun. Like I work three days a week and then my time's off. Like I try to stack my days up three days in a row is what I have been doing. That way, you know, you have days off. So I just been traveling to California to go meet up with, um, one of my other friends I went to school with. And um, it's just not being in school anymore is, it's so great. Like, you know, cause now you're in your career, your profession, you get to start your life, you get to do what you want. Um, and I just been traveling. I didn't think I'd like travel that much, like before I was um, out of school. And then now that I have like free time, like I'm always wanting to go somewhere. And I just recommend that when you guys finish school, if you're done with school, or do something that you love to do that you couldn't do in school, but now that you're done, now you can do those things. So just be out, go out there, be active. Um, lots of stuff to do. Um, I'm really curious, if you guys watch this video, I wanna know what type of nursing you guys wanna do. Is it P, is it OB, is it neurology, is it cardiac, ICU, med surge, do not care, is it long-term care? Um, if you can leave your comments in the description below i'm um, really curious to see what you guys are doing and again sorry for uh not coming out the video in a very long time i just got super super busy and then it's like youtube kind of became like a second thought but i'm here to tell you guys that i am back i will see you guys next time